first stop, the Data City. It's so huge. As huge as it needs to be. In the next few years, data storage will be continuously increasing. Think about all the HD information, 8K, augmented and virtual reality, the Internet of Things, trillions of petabytes of data. To manage all this information, data centers will grow into data cities. Data city. I like the sound of it. Where is that going in such a rush? This is just what we need to be great again. It's our natural place. As you can see, communication networks become ad hoc and dynamic, composed of a mixture of wireless and wired technologies. All this is enabled by massively AI-powered real-time orchestration that assembles and disassembles networks based on user demand. Everything is underpinned by quantum computer-powered security. Those over there have to be hyper-evolved switches. And that's a new quantum processing model. Entity, I could spend hours here. Of course you could. However, the journey must continue. Let's follow the data trail together. This here is the virtualization of the data city. This is the cloud where all information lives and is accessible from anywhere in the world. There is great potential for good in all this data. If someone manipulates it, the world will be a worse place. Well, Simon, that's the reason why the United Nations will decide to include digital rights in the Human Rights Declaration. Article 31. The digital legacy of each person belongs only and exclusively to that person. Each digital fingerprint is private, and companies cannot use it without permission. Well done, humanity. A shift in economy covers the entire world. Wireless edge computing. That's right, Simon. Dumb sensors are doomed to disappear. They will be replaced by sensors that are capable of processing information without continually resorting to the cloud. Of course. Working on the edge is the best way to accelerate online dynamics. Fog computing technology will render millions of operations in the cloud unnecessary. Let me give you an example. Self-driving cars. As you know, autonomous cars are filled with sensors. They measure speed, traffic, road conditions, etc. in real time. These sensors can send all the information to the cloud and wait to receive instructions. However, this of course triggers a delay, which can be crucial. Now imagine that we install an advanced smart unit. Here, for example. The same vehicle can now process any data that requires an immediate response. Think of the potential. Smart units communicate with each other and create their own cloud. All this delivery flexibility will create an emerging market for us. Is this how my company will become a benchmark in the market again? No, it will not. What? In fact, there is a massive risk that operators will become more and more irrelevant and finally become a dumb pipe that's completely out of touch with their customers. 
but with all this new technology, this is our best chance. Technology is important, Simon, but it isn't everything. And you know better than anybody that over the last years, external agents have compromised your business. You're talking about over the top. That's right. It's time we spoke about a different approach. When you uh, think of all the potential applications of artificial intelligence going forward, um, I do believe that uh, the ethical issues are being addressed and need to be addressed. Uh, I don't believe that we have the answers yet to everything, but we need to create momentum around the discussions around uh, the ethical implications of innovation and uh, data and artificial intelligence. Um, the opportunities might be significant in terms of developing innovation, uh, but we should always remember that we're humans and human uh, respect should be at the centre. It's said that in the following years, data centres will be substituted by data cities. What elements will drive this change? Do you think that the next apparition of data cities is feasible within the next few years? I think this is a very important question because as we move forward, uh, the miniaturization of computer power and the availability, therefore, of sensors that you can basically put in any kind of objects will increase the Internet of Everything and the Internet of Things themselves. But once you have sensors uh, out there, these will digitalize information and the information will become the new gold. So data will be the new gold. Uh, but digitalization of the information is not sufficient. You have to store it, so data centers will be fundamentally important, but you also have to access it. So providing easy ways of access of the data centers and uh, making the information readily available in order to produce insights will be a fundamental element. After all, data in itself is not uh, useful unless you provide insights with it. Once data is held in data cities, how will it be made accessible? Through the cloud? Moreover, what is the future of personal privacy related to data and information? Tim, like all the telcos, uh, at least based in Europe, operate, operate under uh, the European regulation of the General Data Protection Regulation. Uh, and therefore, for us, uh, privacy of the customers is extremely important, has always been very important. And we will continue to value it and to value the customer trust in uh, whatever we do.